Guys, if you're sick and tired from dying in new DLC or in Elden Ring game in general, then this build is for you. It's barbecue chicken, baby. You are untouchable by using this Bloodhound step or Shadow step. You name it, you will complete dancing line in no time without breaking a sweat. Any other enemy will not make any challenge. It's absolutely nasty, we are using two weapons, we are applying bleed effect and you can change Ash of War to fit your playstyle even more. But the main thing here that we have crazy attack speed, this setup is based on dexterity and it gets even more OP. But before we continue, quick word from the sponsor you for GM. If you need cheap runes or any item in the game, I can recommend you these guys. They have been working for many, many years, and if you will use my promo code Butcher, you will receive some pretty goddamn spectacular discount. Try you for GM. Guys, I truly believe that this build is right now one of the best dexterity builds you can use in main Elden Ring game and in DLC. You will not feel any difference by transferring yourself to DLC. I am blasting through every gun, e goddamn enemy in the game. Nothing is really giving me trouble. I'm applying bleed effect. Just look at that amount of damage we dealt like in a split a second. If I will be better with my timings, I will not receive any damage. And like I said, we can dash, we can evade, we can make ourselves invisible, we can close distance in no time and attack. And those jump attacks, oh my god, goodness. Especially when we're gonna stack bleed effect that quickly by hitting four times in split second with these two swords. Oh, that's game over. That what we called barbecue chicken, baby. But for this build, you need two uh, beast man's curved swords. As you see right now, I have both swords at level 24. On one of those, I'm applying a bleed, so I'm building a bleed that's really important. You need one sword with bleed buildup, and of course, one Ash of War that will give us the dash ability where we are becoming invisible and closing distance or getting out of uh, trouble. Really good options. Two swords, you have to farm those. Trust me, it's worth your time, especially when you're gonna level up and you can actually switch whatever Ash of Wars you want, but these two works for me the best ones in terms of the gear. You have actually some gear pieces that could improve your DPS output, for example like this armor, but I sometimes switch talismans on the fly and I, we have some talismans that are improving our attack speed when we are light or with no armor whatsoever so usually I'm trying to be as light as possible to dodge more to roll more to dash uh, you got the idea but definitely you could go with more heavy a setup and deal more damage in terms of my talismans these talismans are top tier we are boosting our attack speed by pretty much successful attacks then we have winget Sword, Insomnia, Ingomnia, goddamn these names. Claw Talisman is really important because we are taking most of the time in the air by jumping. We are hitting enemies non-stop and this is the new one, Blade of Mercy Talisman, which is giving us increased attack speed when we are critting and we are critting a lot with this attack speed by hitting four times in the air. I mean, most of the time you are quicker in this game pretty much against every boss or every enemy, you are hitting so quickly, you are staggering enemies, you are building up that bleed effect, but definitely if you don't have these four talismans, you can replace those with some decent ones as well, for example, you could use uh, this one if you need, if you are not using any clothes. Uh, Blue Dancer's Charm is really good, again we are increasing attack power and if you want to run naked use that uh, talisman. If you are low on health these talismans are really good or opposite if you have maximum health use a Ritual Sword uh, talisman. Uh, this is my talisman combination um, in terms of my... Mm, Spirit, I'm using uh, uh, this. I will not pronounce that name, and I'm trying not, it's not happening. <laughs> you could use uh, Mimic, Mimic is eh, 
but this is the tankiest talisman in the game right now and in terms of my flask I'm using flask which is giving me some health back and yeah that's pretty much it have fun